Good morning. This is Wednesday, May the 6th, and we're going to be looking uh, in a few moments at our Sunday School lesson, The Bible Studies for Life, and our topic today is Forgive. And so if you want to get your Bibles, we're going to be uh, mainly in Matthew, but also in Mark and some other passages, but mainly in Matthew today. And so as you get your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter 18, we'll begin with prayer. Father, thank you for another day to not only worship you and live for you, but to enjoy an endeavor of looking into your word and seeing the great mysteries of our great God and the grace of our great God. May you bless us today as we sit in wonder and awe of you, great Jehovah. In Jesus' name, amen. As we begin today thinking about forgiveness, we have to realize that forgiveness is what is expected for a believer in Jesus Christ. In Matthew 18, verse 21, the Lord says, he's talking, and it says, Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him as many as seven times? Peter's asking, says, you know, hey, my brother comes up and asks me to forgive him. Should I do it over and over for seven times? You know, we get tired of dealing with the same thing over and over again. And it says, Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 70 times seven. He's, he's talking about a number if we keep forgiving and forgiving and forgiving, waiting to get to a number, uh, we should just forgive and not worry about the number. Because there should not be a point where unforgiveness is not in our heart. Uh, I mean, uh, when forgiveness is not in our heart. Forgive me for that. Please forgive me. Mark 11 says, uh, verse 25 uh, says, whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your Father in heaven will also forgive you your transgressions. Uh, when we're praying and seeking the face of God, if someone has done something against us and we have a problem with it, if we have the problem with it, we need to go and make it right. We don't need to wait for them to come to us. We need to go and take care of it. We need to go and seek forgiveness. It's our responsibility. But in Matthew chapter 5, it says, Therefore, if you are presenting your offering at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you. The first time in Mark 11, it was you have something against your brother. Now it's your brother has something against you. Leave your offering there before the altar and go first be reconciled to your brother and then come and present your offering. So whether we're praying or whether we're worshiping when we're with God, it doesn't matter if it's their fault or our fault. If we realize it, if our worship and our prayers, we realize that there is a need for forgiveness, it's our responsibility to go. They cause the problem, we still go and seek to rectify it, and seek forgiveness and reconciliation. I caused the problem, I, I go and correct it and seek forgiveness. So we're either giving forgiveness or we're asking forgiveness. It doesn't matter. It's our responsibility. Then, in Matthew chapter 18 still, I'm sorry, that, that other one was Matthew 5, 23, and 24. I apologize. I skipped from Matthew 18 and didn't realize it. Back to Matthew 18, 23, it says, Therefore the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. You see, Jesus is beginning to tell a story, a parable, to teach a lesson about forgiveness about God's forgiveness for us and therefore our need to be forgiving to others. And he goes through and tells about this king who desires to make accounts with his subjects and he comes across one of his subjects that owes him a ton of money, a life of working to pay it off. And he's going to make him pay the debt by putting him in, in servitude. And the servant asks and says, please don't do this, I'll pay you back. And the 
the king is moved with mercy and forgives him. And the guy goes out and finds a guy that owns, owes him five dollars. And he takes the guy and drags him off into servitude so that he can get his five dollars. Well, the king hears about this. And the king calls this first servant back in that owed him a lot of money and says, you wicked man, I forgave you everything, more than you could ever imagine. And you put this other person in jail, in servitude, for five dollars? You're wicked. And the king puts him in jail. He says, uh, then the master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all the debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? God has had mercy on us that he didn't give us what we deserve. Should not we have mercy on other people and offer forgiveness? The answer is yes. How often? As often as they're repentant and it takes. So we have here an example that Jesus teaches us about forgiveness. Flip over to Jude. Jude, it's one chapter, so it's in Jude, okay? Verse 20. Jude 20 says, But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most, high, most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, Keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting anxiously for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to eternal life. He's saying, we've been given mercy, but we're waiting to experience the ultimate mercy, life with Jesus. And in verse 22, it says, have mercy on some who are doubting. Have mercy on them. And save others as snatching them out of the fire. We're supposed to witness to them because they're in their on the edge of being, they've been shown mercy, but they haven't received it through faith in Jesus Christ. They're on the edge of ending up in hell under the wrath of God for their sins. He says, have mercy on them, snatching them out of the fire. And on some have mercy with fear, hating even the garment polluted with the flesh. Yes, there's sin all around us. Have mercy. Yes, people do things to us. Have mercy. Yes, have mercy because God had mercy on us and sent Jesus to the cross to die for us, but to die for them also. So have mercy on the ones that God shows mercy to and be blessed today. Love the Lord, the God, with all your heart, mind, soul, and body and love others as yourself.